Hi, I'm Brad Buckner, and today we're playing with files and knives. <laughs> and one day I said, I can sharpen a knife with a file. And the guy said, I don't think he was being mean, not to me, but he said, I'd like to see that. So today we're going to take a file. Now you do realize these are a one tooth file. We have one tooth over there and one tooth over here. So it's actually a two tooth file. All right, so let's, uh, oh, I hate to do this. Um, all right, let's see. That knife is actually pretty sharp. Kitchen sharp or sharp? No, it's not a 6,000 grit stone sharp. I'd never do that to my knife, never. I've even had people say, if you don't use a microscope, basically, if you don't use a microscope, look at the edge, you don't know that you have a good edge. That's what I think about them. All right, so let's see. Oh, God, this pains me. Ready? Yeah, it's about that sharp. Oh, stop. All right, <laughs> so let's, let's fix it. Now explain while you're doing this. Okay, and this really is hard stainless because the file really doesn't want to cut it. So I'm running at an angle this way, not this way, although you can do it this way. It's just harder to do than this way. I'm choking up on the file so that I really have my finger right here so it doesn't move. If you're back here, then it's more flexible like that. So, I'll, and besides that, if you come up here, this part of the file has probably never really been used. This is an old file. I've had this file for a long time. And uh, so anyway, we're going to do, I got to tip it up a little bit and make it cut. Because that actually, Farberware, that is actually really hard steel. And it is stainless, I'm sure, because it's a kitchen knife. And we'll turn it over. I'm keeping the angle down low, probably around eight or 10% per, <clears throat> per of degrees, whichever way you want to call it, just like that. And see this right here, that's where I've been filing. So it's a very, very, very small uh, filings, filings, yeah. <laughs> you know, just like that. Now we'll do it again, turn it over. All right. I got to take a lot of metal off because I actually filed it down to probably 2007 inch on the cutting edge on the apex of the blade. And just like that. Oh, I can still see a little flat. But guess what? I'm already back to that. That's really for a kitchen. That's probably sharp enough. So let's do this. This is a brand new file, smaller file. Okay. And I think Nicholson, and I think Nicholson, I, I can't read this one. Uh, it is a Nicholson, I'll be damned. Um, not sure where they're from, but. We'll do, is, are they Canada? Canadia? They're Canadian, okay. You know how to spell Canada? C A N A D A. There's only three letters in Canada. <laughs> Isn't that funny? Uh, just like this. Right on down. I can't believe how hard that knife is. I really can't. I, I don't know if I've ever seen a cheap knife that absolutely makes a file just slide right off of it. What kind of temper does it? Or, uh, About 62. 62? That's hard. Some people say that's harder than the hubs of hell. Well, the, the Nicholson was about 64. Oh, okay. 62 wow. 62 is, is uh, pretty much the slick uh, slide. Man. Okay. You, do, you do not want to mess with those knives, man. They have a temper. To, they have a temper. 58 to 60 is, is uh, uh, good hardness for hunting knives and stuff. Okay. Do, do want to be able to sharpen the wheel? Yes. Senator from Mexico is May 5th to the 7th. I put on Plaza. Please tell us yes or no if you have not. Now three o'clock. <laughs> Show's now open.
not as sharp as I would like it. But I didn't realize that I was going to pick probably the hardest knife on the table. Well, you got a San Pico or something? Oh, it's Farberware. It's a oh, Walmart cool. knife. Yeah. Anybody that thinks that Walmart China knives are not hard, uh, no, they, they got some real hard. Just try getting a hold of this knife. Um, shall I quickly? I, um, I, I think that, oh, yeah, let's keep going. We'll keep, let's keep going. Let's do that. There's no one at your table yet. Doors are officially open. It's actually, there it goes. It, it was actually just a little bit hard right to start with to get the uh, cross V carbide to catch. And then it does. Now we just go, and when I really want to polish a blade, I do this. Like that. Not too fast, it'll vibrate. You can hear it. All right, let's see what we got now. Okay, I can hear the little wire edge on the paper. So let's do this. That one got stuck in the post office in the machine that was supposed to be hand canceled and hand carried all through. Somehow the bag uh, got in the automated system and it got caught. And boy, I'll tell you, it put some serious pressure on it, but it didn't break it. It did, however, break the other one that was in the package. But you know what? I really like this little guy. I don't need the, the spark and stuff, so I do that. Oh, you want to see the smallest knife sharpener? I mean the smallest. Tangent, man. <laughs> You're all over the place, man. I know it. Oh my God, I'm starting to fret. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Well, well, you were here with us the day that Brad couldn't find it. So check your pockets, everyone at home, and let us know if it's in one of your pockets. Hang on. Oh, okay. Hang on. Oh, yeah. That's right, we got it. There's the sharpener. <laughs> it's one of the carbides. I needed some samples, so I tore my sharpener apart to get them. <laughs> Boy, it still works, too. All right, let's let's be serious. I okay. Let's try. God, yeah. Good luck with that. My last girlfriend said to me one time, "Are you ever serious?" I said, "Of course." <laughs> oh yeah. Beauty. That paper. If it'll take it off, that that easy. Is sharp enough for kitchen. This is Brad Buckner, sharpenersdust.com. And I'll pick a little bit softer knife next time and show you how well I can file them uh, and, and get them sharp. We'll talk to you later. I sharpen knives free. <coughs>